Margaret Larson, it's Duff McKagan. Uh, I want to congratulate you on your wonderful career at, at New Day, and we've enjoyed you so much, and, and congratulations on your retirement. And you are the best. You rock. You know you rock. <clears throat> You're the best. Congratulations. <laughs> wow. These are all surprises, by the way, these messages. That's Duff McKagan, who is magical. And, of course, my favorite band is Guns N' Roses. Everybody knows that because I talk about it so much. So, Duff, thank you. That means a lot. For the past 10 years, I've been sharing a dressing and makeup room with Joyce Taylor, who is a colleague and a dear friend. We've known each other for 20 years. So we decided to do something a little bit different, have me sit on the couch, so to speak, and her do the interview. Here's a piece of our conversation. Hey, this is kind of a dream come true, a, a t twist of fate that I get to interview <laughs> you. It's a first for me, so I'm, I'm no, excited. I'm a little worried it. since you know everything. <laughs> Not everything. But it's interesting, I was out the last week and I was thinking a lot about what you might be thinking as you're counting down to your last show. Yeah. You're reflecting on a career that spans almost four decades. What have you been thinking about? You know, this is, maybe something's wrong with me. I tend to be very now oriented. So the only times that I've really thought about, you know, well, what does it mean to end a career has been sending people clips or pictures or whatever that they needed for something and kind of thinking about that. But I'm pretty in the present and what the next thing is, and I'm looking very forward to this next chapter. I feel like I had a wonderful time in this business, met the smartest people, had amazing experiences, learned a lot. Um, I couldn't be more grateful but it also feels like this is, this is the part where I go on to something else. It just feels that way. You probably are not one that's thought to yourself, oh, I wonder what my legacy is going to be, or <laughs> what will people remember about my work, or will they remember this story, or that I went to this place. But now that you're calling at least this part of your life a career, what is it that you want people to remember about just oh, the gosh. chance of work that you've done? I, I hope that somewhere along the way I did some good with the stories that I told or helped somebody. I hope that people will think I did that with integrity and good intent. Um, and that's, that's really the nub of it. I, I always thought that journalism was about making a difference in some way or another. And I don't mean by advocating a certain point of view, but by helping to shine a light on things that people were suffering through, things that were happening that, you know, were not just or we're not right and ways we could do something about that and then people make their own decisions but i hope it it will be remembered as something that came from um, a moral compass and integrity i hope there are a few people i've met around the world none of them famous really but people who've done incredible work in the face of such difficulty um there was a woman in particular in burundi who had, had they had a slow rolling genocide next door to Rwanda, and it was the other way around in terms of, of victims and perpetrators. And she began taking in children and over the years has um, housed and educated something like 30,000 kids who were orphaned by, by the war and the genocide there. And you meet people who are so unassuming and loving and full of light that it's just a pleasure to be a human being with them. You know, just to imagine you somehow are in their sphere and that's the best part of the job there. I mean, people are amazing. And I know we're living through this time right now where there's a lot of um, ugliness, but people are amazing. Who else would be on that list of the many people that you've had the chance to talk to that had that kind of moral courage or that was somebody who was hmm. so memorable to you that you knew this is my calling. This is the right profession for me. I think maybe the, the story that changed my life the most would have been in southern Turkey during the first Persian Gulf War. I covered, lived in a tent with the multinational troops. Well, not with the troops. I had my own tent. Um, <laughs> where the multinational troops were, and we drove our Jeeps across the northern Iraqi border, and the Kurds were running for their lives into southern Turkey. And I, I covered Doctors Without Borders and some of the other people who were there who were making a difference under the most difficult possible circumstances. And that was kind of the place where I said, you know what, I'm going to do journalism, but I'm always going to have a foot in that world too, if I can. And I've been fortunate to be able to do that. 
You have done all of this while being a wife and being a mom. And as you look out to the future that we hope to leave our kids, what are you most hopeful about and what are you most concerned, worried about? Well, easily most concerned about the polarization and the, um, the lack of listening. And I think what we might all describe as a certain just not caring about what other people's experiences are like that strike me as maybe long-term societal issues that will be difficult to knit back together economic situations that are going to be difficult to knit back together for kids our kids ages uh, and lots of other people but i'm hopeful because for example since um john lewis went into the rotunda and I was listening to some of the, the young people talk about meeting him and what they got from meeting him and from learning more about his life. And he told us, he told us, don't worry, it's gonna be okay. So I choose to, to keep that in my head. Yeah. I know as a mom, we have boys about the same age and I think a lot of, about this. I think a lot about the future that we're leaving our kids or what their role is going to be. I was interviewing someone the other day and it really gave me pause when he said, I, my hope is that my children um, will be active and change makers so that my grandchildren won't have to be. As journalists, I think as women and especially as moms, we have a role to play. What's the role in your mind? The role is to point to the truth regardless of the fact that it makes people uncomfortable, to hear the truth about ourselves, despite the fact that it may be uncomfortable, to think anew about stuff we think we know, and to educate ourselves. I think you may come to a different conclusion than I might, but let's all be, let's all be all in on listening to one another and understanding that the things you haven't seen, the things you haven't lived are real. You know, that other people's experiences are real. Well, you haven't heard the last of me because I'll be calling on you. <laughs> what do you think about this, Margaret? Should I go left or right? <laughs> You've been I'll so be helpful same, throughout probably. my career. I'll be doing the same. We'll be Thank following you, so you. I can't wait to see what you do next. I, I just appreciate can't wait to see. it. Love you. I love you too. Bye. Bye. Well, as you can imagine, it certainly was more than a seven minute conversation. So we're going to post the rest of our discussion online for you if you want to see. Still ahead this hour, a look back to a few of our favorite moments on New Day. We'll share those with you after a break. Hi, Margaret. Oh, my gosh. I have loved working with you for the past 10 years on New Day Northwest. Oh, we're so sad you're leaving. Congratulations. Lots of love. Happy retirement.